Hello everyone, welcome to our follow-on video from the previous acceleration video. This is the uh, examples on acceleration uh, video tutorial and uh, all questions uh, in this video are going to be taken from the Siavula textbook for grade 10. Okay, so let's look at, at uh, one example, one exercise. Uh, exercise 21.4 of the Siavula textbook, page 404. All right, let's have a look at the first question. All right, let's read it together. An athlete is accelerating uniformly from an initial velocity of zero meters per second to a final velocity of four meters per second in two seconds. Calculate his acceleration. Let the direction that the athlete is running be in the positive direction. Okay, well, let's write down what we have. So first of all, the uh, they mentioned to us that his, he started off at zero meters per second, right? And then the question said he had a final velocity of four meters per second. Okay. Well, so we write that as a VI equals to zero meters per second and VF equals to four meters per second. Okay, and we know that the time was two seconds. All right, the time was two seconds. All right, that's all. And that's everything we need. What we don't know is acceleration. All right, so everyone, please pay attention to how I am uh, approaching this question is I am writing down what I have over here on the right hand side of my page and on the left hand side of my page I'm going to attempt to answer the question okay so first things first we start by choosing our formula and we know the formula for acceleration it's uh, acceleration is calculated by the change in velocity over the change in time all right the change of velocity over the change in time. So we know if we have to write out that formula, it's VF minus VI all over the change in time. All right, but we can normally skip that step. All right, and we can go straight to this step. We can plug in our numbers. So our final velocity was four minus zero, which was our initial velocity, all over uh, two, minus zero because there was no change in time it was just two seconds okay and we get an answer of two meters per second squared all right in the positive direction all right and there's our answer for number one all right, this was number one. All right, there's our answer. So I have, let's check my answer. All right, four minus zero is four, two minus zero is two, four divided by two is two. I have my SI units correct, and I stated my direction. Yes, my answer is correct. All right, perfect. All right, so that's question one, done, dusted, answered. Okay, and uh, let's answer question number two. All right, question number two. Uh, a bus accelerates uniformly with an initial velocity of 15 meters per second. So without wasting any time, let's go write it straight down here. Initial velocity of 15 meters per second. Perfect. All right, so initial velocity, 15 meters per second, to a final velocity of seven meters per second. So I'm gonna go straight here to the board, and my final velocity, I'm gonna write that down as seven meters per second. All right, and the time that they've given me there in four seconds, all right? So uh, time is in four seconds. Okay, now they say, Calculate the acceleration of the bus. Just like in the first question, let the direction of motion of the bus 
be in the positive direction. Okay, so I have everything I need and I also know what they want me to find out. They want me to find out the acceleration. That is my unknown. So I'm gonna go straight here to the left-hand side and start by writing down the formula. All right, change in velocity over change in time. Okay, there we go. So his initial velocity was 15 and his final velocity was seven. So he had to have slowed down somewhere. All right, so my final velocity minus my initial velocity, seven minus 15, all over four, all right? Four minus zero, so four. Okay, seven minus 15 divided by four. My answer should be negative two meters per second in the positive direction. All right, just like the question says, all right, let it be in the positive direction. Okay, so there had to be negative acceleration here, of course, because VF was smaller than VI. Hence, the negative answer or the negative acceleration value over here. Okay, okay, so negative two. Okay, but the bus was still moving forward, even though it uh, had a negative acceleration. All right, so it just accelerated at a decreasing rate. All right, question three, the final question of this exercise. Okay, question three, an airplane accelerates uniformly from an initial velocity of 100 meters per second. All right, so VI, 100 meters per second. Awesome. To a velocity of 200 meters per second in 10 seconds. All right, so VF, 200 meters per second. All right, and my time was 10 seconds. All right, and it then accelerates uniformly to a final velocity of 240 meters per second in 20 seconds. Okay, so this could be like my VF2. That was my VF1. And I'll write it a little bit further down here, VF2, 240 meters per second. And then my T2, let's call that T1. All right, let's make that one a little bit better there. All right, T2 will equal 20 seconds. All right, let's make sure that's right. Yes, it is. Now, let the direction of motion of the airplane be in the positive direction. So A, the first part of question three says, calculate the acceleration of the airplane during the first 10 seconds. Okay, well, now we know what it was during the first 10 seconds. Okay, the first 10 seconds was this information over here. Okay, so let's go and calculate it using our acceleration formula. All right, so. A is equal to delta V over delta T. All right, our initial or final velocity was 200 minus our initial velocity of 100. All right, and our time was in the first 10 seconds. Okay, we get an answer of 10 meters per second squared. 10 meters per second squared. All right, in the positive direction all right looks like the positive direction here is forward so we could say forward but because the question uses the terminology positive direction it's best just to stick with what the question has stated to avoid uh, being incorrectly marked okay perfect oh we still have enough space here for the second question all right so the second question says on the next page uh, calculate the acceleration of the airplane during the next 20 seconds of its motion. Okay, B. So the next 20 seconds of its motion, okay, we know that it's VF2, its uh, second final, or its final final velocity was 240 meters per second. The velocity before that was 200 meters per second. Uh, A is equal to, as uh, in the first question, 
delta V over delta T. All right. What we do here is we now take our VF in its next 20 seconds of, in the 20 seconds of motion was 240 minus 200, all right, over 20, over 30, all right, minus 10 seconds. Okay, now you're questioning, all right, the 30. Okay, 30 minus 10, all right, is 20 seconds. Okay, so in total, 10 plus 20 is 30 seconds. So it traveled for a total of 30 of total of 30 seconds. Okay, we want to find the acceleration for the 20 seconds of motion. So for 20 seconds of his motion, right, we need to take the total time that it traveled, which was 30 seconds, 30 seconds, and we have to minus it from its first 10 seconds of motion to get what was its acceleration for the next 20 seconds of motion, hence the 30 minus 10, okay? Now, 240 minus 200, all right? Um, over 30 minus 10, all right, which is the change in time, okay? And we should get an answer of two meters per second squared in the positive direction all right fantastic okay so that was our activity all right and it's quite simple using this uh, simple acceleration formula okay it's really not hard at all actually all we doing is especially when we write down what we have on the on the left on the right hand side of our page okay we can easily see with what we are dealing with so that we do not get confused when plugging the values into the formula. All right. Hope you enjoyed this uh, video on how to answer simple acceleration uh, questions. Stay tuned for the next episode of more mechanics questions.